What is going on with you guys? Thank you for tapping in with me again today. And if you're new to the channel, I'm Cleveland. So everybody, we have a treat for you. So I went to the press store. I went to go grab some bulkheads because the pool pond came in, guys. The pool pond came in. So I went to the fish store, got some bulkheads. But, you know, as fish keepers, we can't help but to look around. So I looked around. They had some fish for us. Every time I tell you, they have something that was very special that I had to get. And then it was some other fish that, again, I had to get. So I'll show you what I got. This is going to be a quick video. I'm going to show you what I got. And then uh, we're going to acclimate them, get them into the tanks. And I'll show you the pool pond that we got. And I already went and got the place in and the river pebbles and all that, getting everything ready to start this build coming very soon. I'm actually behind on my videos. So by the time you see this video, you think that it went in sequence, but you may have realized that the first one was already being made the same day that the last one got put out. So nonetheless, we're a few days behind, which is totally fine. It's all right, because uh, you keep it up along with me. So anyway, let's take a look at what we got. They had like a rescue. Somebody donated this female flower horn right here. And you know how hard it is to get a female flower horn. It's easy to get the males because you're able to tell that it's a male, the head, you know, the large nuchal hump. You can tell by that. It is kind of hard to get a female flower horn because when they're small, you don't know whether or not it's a male or not because of the nuke, because you're waiting, for, waiting to see that the nuchal hump. But this is a female flower horn right here. So we're going to try to put this female flower horn down here with the male flower horn and uh, the red devil and the Atabapo pike, as well as the red tiger moto. I think she might have the best chance in there. These big guys right here are going to destroy her, so I can't put her in there. And then these guys, once we move everybody into that pool pond, then we'll be able to move some fish around. But temporarily, I'm hoping that putting her in there will be a success. And light, man. All right, so we also got two Dovi cichlids. Like I told you before, the Dovi cichlid is what gotten me back into the hobby. So we have the single Dovi over there. But, you know, we had to get some more. So we got some more Dovi. I'm going to put the Dovi in the 60 gallon right here. Temperature acclimate. Then we also have a Managuins, also known as the Jag. I've had a bunch of these. This one in particular just happened to be the, you know, the tank boss that was in the aquarium and the fish store really. So went ahead and got this one. And uh, this one will also be going into the 60 gallon. So we got some nice, some nice predators over there now. And then of course I bought the bulkheads. Of course I bought the bulkheads because I plan on turning that trash can right there into a filter. And then I have a, what's this, like a 30, it's like a 30 gallon tub. Then I also have this part that will also be, I, just I have this, what's this? This is a 27 gallon tote that I plan on using as part of the filtration for the pool pond. So let's take a look at the pool pond. I'll show you the supplies that I got. So, uh, you know, kind of get you guys excited for the build. So take a look. All right, check it out. So here's the pool pond right here, Intex. Like I mentioned before, we attempted to buy Best Way, and I'm going to tell you right now, I don't care what they say, don't buy Best Way. So, situation is, I bought a Best Way, they sent it to the wrong address, they never returned the money like they said they would, and they said the pond was going to come anyway, that didn't happen, so they just tried to keep our money. So, um, I, wouldn't re I wouldn't refer you guys to Best Way. In text, they came on time, no issues whatsoever. And then also we got these beautiful Hyger products right here that we got to talk about. We have the Biomedia right here. I've been using this 
in all of my filters. So if you need some media, check out Higer's Bio, Bio Media right there. This one is HG903. This is not the sponsored video portion of this. We're going to do that in a different video. I just want to show you what I'm working with. And then we also have over here the place in. I bought four bags of place in. And then I bought one bag of the River Pebbles. So I think that will be enough for this pool. And if it's not, then I'll deal with it accordingly. But I think that should be enough. I am going to go over and beyond with washing this in. The last time, it took so long for it to clear up in the 225 and then 125 and then also the 160. So, we're not making that same mistake. We're going to clear it. Uh, we're going to clean it a little bit at a time because it is not pre-washed. And if it is pre-washed, what kind of washing is that? I don't know what kind of washing that is because it's always dirty. I also have these mats right here. This is what I'm going to set the rock work on. I don't need the rock work putting a hole inside of this pool because we don't need it leaking inside of this garage. Needless to say, this I believe is necessary. So we have sand, river pebbles, we have the mats, we have the pool, we have the rock work. Let's take a look at this rock work. Look at this. And this is going to be the view of it sick right tall look at that it's like 20 inches tall some of these the big rock right there that one's 20 inches tall look at that sick so yeah this is how i want my tank well this is how i want the pool pond set up again as you know it's going to probably be like my uh my, my aquariums and i'll switch it up anytime that i feel like i need to but for the time being i think this will definitely be the aquascape for the tank. So over here, I'll put like uh, maybe some center blocks or something like that to hold um, some plants because I do want to put some floating plants in here. We're going to take full advantage of being able to have some floating plants, water hyacinth, um, lilies, pine lilies, all that. We're going to put all that up in here. Why not? Watch when, watch when you see this thing complete and done. You, well, you can't even imagine it, and I'm not going to help you imagine it. You just got to wait and see. So make sure you subscribe to that channel so you don't miss a single thing. Now, where we are with things that we got, of course, let these fish acclimate. Once they're done acclimating, we'll get them into the tank, and then I'll be right back. But let me tell you this. So we did get some more fish. We got four more fish. Yes, four more. So these four fish, they are going, they actually already are, in a 75-gallon in the living room. The reason why we put them in there is because the bag leaked on us, guys. It was completely empty, no more air, only had water in it. So we had to get them out ASAP. So I got them in there real quick. They're looking good. They're swimming around. They're schooling together. I'll let you guys take a look at them. But first, I want to make sure that I get that tank ready. Ready meaning that I want to take the angelfish out. I'm going to bring the angelfish into the fish room. I'm most likely going to put the angel fish in a 54 gallon and then I want to turn that into an African cichlid tank. I know I know a bunch of you were probably happy that I said an African cichlid tank, but I don't mean like a Malawi tank, a Lake Tanganyika tank. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about an African cichlid tank that I am going to select certain African cichlids, bring them together, and then I'll make my African cichlid tank. Because I like different ones. So we got we got we got four jewel cichlids, ruby jewel cichlids. Beautiful, beautiful. So we're gonna get some fish that could, you know, cohabitate with those fish because they're kind of peaceful. They could be a little aggressive depending on who you put them with, but for the most part, they're pretty peaceful. So we'll make sure that we set that up the right way. I want to bring you guys along for that whole ride. We barely look at the 75 gallon. We'll probably start doing that more often now that I'm adding some excitement back into it because, you know, angelfish really aren't that exciting to me. They're not, they're not. And they're just like other cichlids. They like to fight and bully each other and everything else. So you're still dealing with the same thing, but you know, you're not getting the, the extra things that you get with other types of fish. But if you love angel fish, I don't wanna, you know, I got some angel fish too. So we in the same boat, you know, I don't know if you enjoy yours, but you know, fish is a fish, right? Sometimes. So anyway, nonetheless, let's get these fish acclimated and I'll be right back. All right, so let's start with this one. Let's go ahead and get this girl released. I hope that this works out. I don't know how it's gonna go, but I hope it'll work out. All right. Got her right.
right here. Let's uh, release her right. I'll release her on this end. All right, let me grab the camera, bring you in, let you see. Look how beautiful she is. And already the male is acting funny, but uh, he hasn't come out or anything. <clears throat> Look how beautiful she is. You see why I had to get her? She was 50 bucks. I know you guys would have got her too. Look at the fins. Look at the colors on this fish. She is so beautiful. Look at that. I just want to see the red devil come out and meet her. So far, so good. So far, so good. All right, so we'll check back up on her in a minute. Man. Yep, no regrets. <laughs> no regrets for sure. And I know she'll be ready to eat in a minute. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Man. All right, let's get the other fish released. And the red devil, he's not even tripping. Let's see, he's about to come out. Let's see, this is what I wanted to see. It's a little flared. I'm hoping that it balances out the tank a little bit because the red devil and the, and the flower horn stay going at it. So let's see. He's out. They met face to face. He's like, this is my spot. And that's it. He's not going out or anything. I know they're going to have to test, uh, establish a hierarchy. Well, let's see how this pan out. They all want to fight a little bit. Y'all really need to knock it off. And there she go over here. And they're done with their little scrapping. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, release the other ones. All right, so let's go ahead and get the little guys released. All right, these are the two Dovi. So this should be fun. If any of you plan on getting Dovi cichlids anytime soon, get them. We'll grow them out together. Beautiful. There we go. All right. Let's get out the the jack this one is a little on the lighter side all the other ones were darker usually that means that it's a female this is it's definitely too soon to tell but i'm hoping it's a female i like the females because they're more golden but if it's a male the males are also just as gorgeous there we go beautiful beautiful all right let's take a look at them Everybody in this tank will be getting an upgrade. I'll probably be moving all of these fish to the 125 gallon within the next few weeks. All right, let's take a look at them. All right, here we are. There they go. Two Dovi and one Jag. That's the Jag right here. That's one of the Dovi. And the other Dovi is somewhere right there. 
the Salvini, the Electric Blue Texas, the tail growing back nicely. Where's the green tear? So I took out the, the red severum, being that I didn't want to have three more fish bullying on it. It definitely wouldn't have risen in the in the ladder of hierarchy in this aquarium with me adding in here the dove eyes and the and the jack. That just would have been three more fish that would have been higher than it on the hierarchy pole. So yeah, this one is really nice. I'm hoping that one of the dove eye will be a female. That's what I'm really hoping. There's one. And there's two. That one is beautiful. That one might be a female. It's really yellow compared to the other one. And again, it's hard to tell when they're young, but I'm hoping that that's a female. And then there you go the green tear. So the tank is doing nicely. Even the angelfish is in here doing good. Big bully right here. All right, now, so that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that you learned something. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Follow me on Instagram at The Fish Corner. Miami. Follow me on Facebook, The Fish Corner. Follow me on TikTok, The Fish Corner. And until next time, guys, have a good weekend. Peace.